Jai Hind, Vande Matram, this is Kunal Mehta from Make Me Scientific and in this video we are going to very easily derive the relationship between the external as well as the internal resistance of the battery. The external resistance which is in the circuit as well as the internal resistance of the battery. Now this is in standard 10 ICAC textbook which is given in a bit lengthy method. I will just make this uh, derivation in three easy steps. So now let us move on. So, here we are given an external resistance R which is connected with a battery. All right. Now, this battery has an EMF of E and it has an internal resistance of small r. Now, we know that these two are the terminals or you may consider these two as the terminals of the external resistor. So, what am I going to do is I am going to connect a voltmeter across it and it will show some reading capital V. This capital V is known as terminal voltage. And the drop in potential inside the battery across this tiny resistance, internal resistance is known as small v, that is known as voltage drop. And this is the electromotive force or in short EMF. Now we do know that EMF is equal to the potential drop small v plus the terminal voltage capital V. So, what am I going to do is I am going to transfer this E on the other side. So, this is EMF minus V that is equal to small V that is terminal voltage. I am going to divide both sides by capital V. So, I am going to divide this by the terminal voltage. Now, splitting this, uh, this up. So, E upon V minus V upon V that is equal to small V upon capital V. Now, this in fact is 1. So, this becomes E by V minus 1 that is equal to, now this small v is equal to, so we can say that some conventional current I flows out of the positive terminal of the battery and the same current will flow through this resistance. No current goes inside the voltmeter and the same current would flow back in the negative terminal of the battery and then it will cross from here to here and come back. Right? So, this V is equal to I times R as per the Ohm's law. So, the terminal voltage capital V is I times R whereas this tiny V that is equal to the same current flowing across it. So, this is I times small r and these two values I am going to substitute over here. So, this is capital I times small r upon capital times capital R times capital I. This I I getting cancelled, this R goes over here. So, that is equal to R E minus V minus 1. So, if your purpose was to just derive, then you could stop here. And now, if you do not understand what is EMF terminal voltage, then let us discuss further. Now, what is the assumption that I am making? We do know that that the electrons they will come out from the negative terminal of the battery or the electrons they will flow in this direction like this. But had it been positive charges, we are just making assumption that suppose plus 1 coulomb charge flows in this direction because if the electrons are flowing in this direction, positive charge would flow in this direction. That is what we are making an assumption to derive the things. Actually, positive ions, they do not move. Now, these positive ions, they would require certain amount of energy to flow and overcome the resistance. So, it will take some amount of energy from the battery. So, let us assume EMF is 10 volts, which means one coulomb charge will take 10 joules of energy from the battery. So, the amount of EMF is the same amount of energy that plus one coulomb charge is going to derive from the battery and then in overcoming this external resistance, it will lose certain amount of energy and that is known as terminal voltage. So, the amount of energy lost by plus one coulomb charge in overcoming external resistance is known as terminal voltage. Had it been one, two or more than one resistances, then the sum of the energies lost by one coulomb charge would be the terminal voltage. All right. And then that plus one coulomb charge will flow from here till here. 
Now plus one coulomb charge will again have to cross the internal resistance of the battery and come back over here. So whatever energy will be lost by plus one coulomb charge in overcoming this internal resistance is known as the voltage drop. So the amount of energy lost by the plus one coulomb charge in moving from A to B in the external circuit is known as terminal voltage. Whereas B to A inside the cell is known as voltage drop. And the total amount of energy lost from here to here back is known as the total EMF. So, suppose if I say that this reading is 9 volts, which means this has to be 1 volt, which means plus 1 coulomb charge will lose 9 joules of energy in overcoming this resistance and 1 joule in overcoming this resistance. And the total amount of energy lost that is 10 joules is known as EMF. So, this is how we get on.